Welcome to this step-by-step -step tutorial on Oracle Apex Virtual Private Database VPD Full Setup Guide. In this video, I'll show you how to secure your application data using Oracle's VPE feature allowing different users or companies to see only their own records. Part 1 Create Base Tables and Dummy Data We start by creating two simple tables, Company and Customer and insert sample data for two different companies. I am inserting data for two companies here one with ID 100 and the other with ID 200. We can see that two are inserted in the company. Now I will create customers according to the company. So we created two tables and inserted data into them. Part 2. Create an application context. We define a secure application context named app underscore vd, which will store the current company's ID dynamically. If you see an insufficient privileges error, Make sure to run the following as a DBA grant execute on dbms underscore RLS to your underscore scheme underscore name. Part 3. Write a PLSQL package to set context. We create a package set underscore CTX that sets the company context using dbms underscore session dot set underscore context. Step 3. Point to package body. We will create the package body where we will define the logic to set the company underscore ID in the context. Part 4. Create VPD policy function. We write a small function customer underscore VPD underscore FN that returns a where clause condition based on the current company's context. Part 5. Apply VPD policy to the customer table. Finally, we use dbms underscore rls dot add underscore policy to apply the VPD logic to the customer table, ensuring that users can only access rows that belong to their own company. Now I will back to the application. Now I need to add a global item. I named the item G underscore company. Here I will add a company item. I named the item G underscore company. I set the item as a list of values, love, and used a query for it. I will query from the company table that I created earlier. Now I will create a process to set the company item as a global item. Here, I set G underscore company using the company value from the login page. Now I will log into the application along with selecting the company.
The application has been logged in. Now I will check whether the company selected during login has been set globally or not. We can see that the value of the G underscore company item is 100, which means our company number has been successfully set. Now I will create a report on the customer table. I named the region customer reports. I set the type as classic report. Then I set the table name as the customer table. Although there is data in my customer report, it's not showing up because I have applied VPD to this table. So, if the VPD policy doesn't receive a valid value, the report won't display any data. So now, I need to run the VPD context within the page to make the data visible. First, I will click on pre-rendering. Then under before header, I will create a process. I will give a name to the process. Now I will add the VPE context code inside the process. Here, instead of the static value 100, I will set the global company item. I will replace it with the global company meaning, I will use G underscore company instead. Now you can see that company wise data is appearing because the global item has been set inside the context. Now I will log in with a different company. I had inserted only one record under this company. So that's why only one row is appearing here. Notice one thing, I haven't used any where condition in the report. Yet it's still showing filtered data. So, if you want, you can run the context once and give company-wise access to the entire application. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment and give it a like. Thank you.